Hi, I'm Paul Miguel. Today I've come down to my local park to do some photography of ducks and wildfowl. I'm going to give you some tips on exposure, focusing technique and a few other things too. I've got with me the Canon 1DX, Canon 400mm f5.6. Uh, that's all I'm going to use today and I'm just going to mostly handhold. If you do have a lens like this, it's absolutely ideal for hand holding. So this, the 400 f5.6, maybe a 300 or 100 to 400 zoom. They're all really good for this kind of stuff. Easy to hand hold for quite long periods of time. I'd recommend setting your camera onto AV setting. This is aperture priority mode. So it's A or AV, uh, depending what camera you've got. And if you set a fi fairly wide aperture, that's going to let more light into the lens and that means that you can use a faster shutter speed. Exposure with ducks can be tricky, particularly when they move across a very light patch of water. So you want to find your exposure compensation option and then simply move the exposure a little to the right which is making it brighter, in this case plus one. So when you're photographing ducks you're best using the servo autofocus setting and that's the one that tracks the subject all the time, keeps it in focus. With ducks, even when they're not swimming, they're still drifting around, they're still moving, so you're better using the servo option, and that's hopefully gonna keep the bird in focus. If you use all the focus points on the camera, it's probably gonna make it difficult for the camera to focus on the duck. It's gonna to wanna to focus on everything, and maybe the background. So it's usually better to use less focus points. I tend to use just one focus point, and then position this on the bird's head. Try to use the appropriate focus point to get on the bird's head, depending on how you want to frame the image. So you can see in this case I'm using a focus point which is just above and just to the right of centre in order to get it on the bird's head. With birds that have really long necks, such as geese and swans, can be really tricky to get a focus point on the head sometimes because the head's quite far away from the body. So in these situations what I'd advise you to do is to put the focus point onto the breast of the bird. If you aim for the breast that's just touching the water that should pretty much give you the same plane of focus as the head. Don't just take one picture at a time, you want to put your camera on continuous shooting mode. So you might have two options, it might be one lower, one higher, depending on the frame rate. Different cameras will give you different frame rates depending how old or how new the model of camera is. But try and stick it on continuous when you're photographing ducks, don't just take one shot at a time. So hopefully you'll have an option to go to continuous shooting and here you can set it so here's single shooting and we have high speed and low speed but both these are continuous shooting options so that's what you want to go for
thanks for watching the video hope you've enjoyed it hope you've learned a few things um, if you want to subscribe to my channel click on the thing it's probably about down here somewhere uh, click on that you'll get notifications and uh, there'll be plenty of new videos I'll look forward to seeing you next time